Tell Mitchell Scott his son is here. Bitch. Dad. Where's my NDR1? They're fine. You were out for about 24 hours, our guy. We had to conduct some tests on you to make sure that you were okay for our environment. You've grown up so much. You're quite a young man. Look, um, why don't you finish getting dressed, get your boots on, and meet me in the hallway? Okay. Yeah. Great. Kitch, I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Yeah, well, they got the good run. If I get my... Well, I just wouldn't have anything to do with you. That's not fair. Don't listen to him. Just calm down. I've been living in a hole in the ground, and you've been over here this whole time. Just get out of here. Why don't you just give your dad a chance to explain? What is there to explain? Maya, look at this place. It's all true, all the rumors about experimenting on babies and my dad choosing everything else over me. Now he's in there hanging out with 4C. I'm so much happier just playing video games and thinking he was some sort of hero. Hey. It's been a rough couple of days. Why don't we just go inside and talk about it? You're gonna trust anyone, trust me. Okay? Okay. Well, let's go.
We recently discovered that an oxygen-rich environment helps infants survive the most fatal stages of the infection. Why not just use the vaccine that the drones have been dropping? We lost the vaccine just before the drones went online. The board decided, we decided to deliver a, a placebo instead to Seriously? minimize the panic. When did the lies stop? What are you even doing here? You're supposed to be doing good things, not, not, not buying babies. We just incentivize to, just to test your own failures. To, to give birth here. Else the babies would die. Infants can't contract the virus in the mother's womb. They do contract the virus from their mother during the natural birth process. That's why 4C has been working so hard to get the power grid back up. We have to get new facilities running. So... So there's no cure. The vaccine was the... was the best we could ever hope for. It was lost and we had no solution. Until today. Today? What's so special about today? Before the outbreak, we had a non-lethal strain. We, we knew it was coming. I had enough to inject a host to propagate the vaccine. We were ahead of the game. Unfortunately, a group of extremists attacked. They believed the virus was a good thing. Taking out the weak, thinning the herd. We lost it all. We lost everything. And I was forced into quarantine to continue looking for a solution. So you lost the vaccine when we were separated? When we were separated? I lost my son. And the world lost a second chance. We tried so hard to find you. We had to find you. Kitch. It's in your blood. of your courage. This world has a second chance. I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I love you, Dad. I love you, too. When your whole world gets turned upside down, that's when you start to realize what really matters. I thought if I found Dad, everything would just fall into place. I'd be safe and we'd start being normal again. But is anything in life normal? Or safe? Or simple? It's not a game divided into heroes and villains. It's not, it's not black and white or good versus evil. Life is just people. People just trying to make the best out of what we're given. Maybe the chaos is just meant to remind us of the other people around us. People shining brightly, daring to hope when all seems lost. People that are lost and bump into others while finding their way and people that bring out the best in us, if we're brave enough to trust them. The world as we knew it may have ended, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to move forward and live our lives. 
For some, this will be the only world they ever know. So how's it going? It should be good to go. I just can't get it to arm. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Hi, I'm Chad, the director on DR1. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad, the director on Rotor DR1. Thanks for watching, but we're not done yet. What happens next is we take all 10 episodes and we put them together, incorporating your input from Facebook and the YouTube comments. And we're gonna make a feature film and look for distribution. We'd like you to subscribe to the Rotor DR1 newsletter below to stay involved. And we can keep you updated by your subscription on the newsletter. Rotor DR1 was definitely a challenge. We turned the whole filmmaking process inside out. We did things that made people mad and they didn't agree with and they got mad and they punched me. And I'm really excited and I hope you are too. What we're doing is trying to pioneer new methods in developing entertainment. Through this process, all of you guys had a chance to have input on everything that we did from makeup and wardrobe to uh, choosing the actors to helping shape the characters as we went. Just like any attempt to create something great, our process involves struggles, arguments, and extreme conditions. But I'm very proud of our team. We always pulled through. Since we started, we've grown to over 5,000 community members in our global DR1 community. And we discovered how the opportunity to contribute and express creativity has been rewarding for so many people around the world. I'd like to invite anyone who has contributed in any way to subscribe to our newsletter through the link below. Once subscribed, we can make sure you get a free digital copy of the feature film when it's ready. Plus, your name will appear in the end credits of the film. Also, we've received a lot of requests to do the uh, DR1 model kit. Um, and what we're looking into doing is actually making a, a model kit that you can build and fly at home. It'll probably be a more advanced model kit to build, but we'll also look into uh, ready to fly packages as well. I want to thank our parent company, Lauren International, for believing in us and funding Rotor DR1. Because of them, all of this was possible. So thanks to Lauren International. I also want to thank our resilient cast and crew. Things were changing so fast, half the time scripts were being printed as we were setting up the shot. By subscribing to our newsletter, you'll get updates on the status of the feature film, you'll get an opportunity to be an early participant in future projects, you'll get access to exclusive merchandise including the DR1 model kit, you'll get a free digital copy of the finished film, and your name will appear in the credits on the final film. Please continue to be a part of this amazing new process by subscribing to the newsletter below. It, that way we can keep you informed of what's coming and where we're at in the development of the feature film. And I want to thank you for all the input that you've given and helping build such a great community. So we'll see you real soon. Okay, so this is Kitchen's face. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's the set. And then it's really tight. You have to fit through here. Wait a minute. Are you all it's the way wide? It's just a regular basement. It's just a regular old basement that we used to shoot flight tests in. So here's a prop. Literally, it's a prop on a prop. <laughs>